Today on breakfast, the Central Bank of Nigeria has announced that the monetary policy rate of the nation is retained at 11.5%. What does this mean for the Nigerian economy? Transparency International Corruption Perception Index is a hot topic amongst Nigerians anytime it's released. The latest rankings have been released. What does this say about the state of affairs in the nation? We also have the analysis of the latest newspaper headlines. So these are ahead on The Breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. Welcome to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. As always, we will take you uh, through two hours of an amazing conversation. And uh, usually we start off with the top trending. Uh, this is a conversation making the rounds across board. I am Messi Bopo. And I'm Kofi Bartels. Messi sounds so serious this morning. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, it, it's, <laughs> it's... Isn't it enough to be serious? It, 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 you're looking amazing this morning. Thank you. Uh, you too. I'm totally amazing. Thank you. It's, it's been a very, um, uh, very busy busy day yesterday um, around the nation lots of news stories to follow lots of events to follow lots of um, activities but I think one that was really uh, of interest to me was Idumota uh, you know that's that was also trending you know lots of people were talking about do, Idumota. Do, do you have do you have any personal any yeah because be, because I, I almost walked into Idumota on Saturday inside into the center of uh, crisis when they were still fighting Mm -hmm. yeah, they were still fighting on Saturday, according to what I heard. And some people had been killed before the uh, previous day. Apart from the clash, that was on, 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 on Friday night. So the thing was still brewing on Saturday. You know, so I, 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 was, I was lucky. Someone said, hey, don't go there. You know, but, but for me, the, the experiences and the difficulties that drivers, especially commercial drivers, um, hawkers, salespeople, people who push carts, go through on the road, every single time is, is of utmost importance. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to go back to uh, um, a 2010 documentary um, by the British Broadcasting Corporation called Law and Order in Lagos. This was 12 years ago, almost 12 years ago, where um, an, a, a British documentary maker had to come all the way from the UK to Lagos to do something on the NURTW. And, and watching that documentary, I watched it again last night, gave me uh, a very, very, a crash course in, in the National Union of Road Transport Workers. Um, for now, the, the calls by some Lagosians and the one political party, the Accord Party on Governor Samolu to scrap, abolish, ban the NURTW, the National Union of Road Transport Workers in Lagos State, um, was partly, partially heated because the government announced a suspension of the NURTW, National Union of Road Transport Workers, activities in Udumota. You know, and for someone who is not really indoctrinated or experienced in the affairs uh, activities, you know, of this union in Lagos, when you hear people say they are Agberu, you might not understand because the dynamics of the National Union of Road Transport Workers in Nigeria's southwest are very different from the north, the southeast, and the south-south. Messi, you and I, <laughs> you and I grew up in the same city. Did you ever see any union people um, doing agbear on the road in in this manner, where you know they were they could they could kill themselves? It's a bit different. You have so when I actually saw that video, I yeah. mean the first thing that came because there were there were doubts. Mm -hmm. So that's the I, video of the fight. Yes, of okay. the fight. So okay. for at first for me, it felt like this is not true. This mm -hmm. cannot be. You know, what part of Lagos could this be, oh. and how can this be happening? Maybe it's an old video from Imo State. You understand oh, all okay. of the Okay, maybe some unknown gunmen or the, something. Exactly. Oh, so I, I, I never thought that you know that could happen. Uh, right here in Lagos. I mean, it really shocked me. I mean, that's that's me being very honest and sincere. Then up until later, of course, verification and finding out, fact checking, and then it happened in Lagos. But the activities of, uh, you know, the NRUT is like you have mentioned. I, I think that to some extent, I haven't been seeing them because uh, they are known for the colors, green and white. And, and that's a very patriotic color. That's like the flag of Nigeria. <laughs> but I haven't quite seen 
um, this personnel in some part of Lagos, especially if you stay on the island. I mean, like he going to Ajaya and what have you. I haven't quite seen them. But like you mentioned, very correct. Uh, Lagosians are asking that they be scrapped entirely. It's a good thing that they've been suspended uh, following that. But, you know, it just... Um, like I said, I'm, I'm sure a lot of persons will be wondering, how do we get to this point where, you know, it felt like it was a war zone. You, you could know, see the whole fighting. Yes, absolutely. And up until this moment, I mean, I'm still in doubt. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm still in doubt that that really happened in some part of Lagos. It, it did, it did. Um, um, the, some people just want the entire body to be scrapped. In, in 2020 September, the um, Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Hamzat um, Femi, gave an interview to the Nation newspaper uh, when he celebrated his 56th birthday. And what he said in that interview, the second question I was asking him was that government can't ban the NUFTW. So this issue has been lingering if they had an interview in 2020. It's been happening every time. And not just in Idumota, in mm. other parts of Lagos. Mm. Um, these guys have become a, a, a government on, on the streets of Lagos. And that's why some people will say in Lagos State you have four, four tiers of government. You have the federal government, you have the state government, you have the local government, and you have Agbero government. <laughs> That's the reality of people on the streets of Lagos. They can stop you. Someone told me um, that, that, that a whole bus of passengers was asked to step down and just go because they wanted to deal with the driver. No, it happened. I, I they just told all the passengers to step it, down it and happened just go. A, it happened a lot of times. So if, and if, if that is that. not a government, then what do you call them? No, so, 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 so for me, I think that um, it, it's the same thing if you want to begin to make comparison. It's still the same thing in the course of discharging duties. And we keep asking, just as we demand of the police, that yes, we know that your duty is to protect lives and property. You have a responsibility. You have a role in a democratic dispensation. But what are the people asking? And what's different from other clients? That you behave in a rational way. That you behave in a civil way. That yes, you are asked to discharge a duty, but there's a way to go about discharging the duty. How? And then you don't yeah. start acting like animals. Because we have seen... Um, those who should perform duty. Now, you said something. I, I totally would not, uh, you know, want to agree with that, even though we have, you know, little or no time, you know, mm -hmm. to stay on this mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I've also experienced that those who are saddled with the responsibility in some part of the region, yeah. I mean, to regulate activities on the road. So in different states, you have different names mm -hmm. and what have you. Mm -hmm. But okay? it's a national union. If no, 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 this is a national union. I haven't, this I haven't union, seen, I haven't in seen in this 19, behavior. In 1978, several unions in the country, including the Cross River State uh, uh, Transport Workers Union, uh, River State, uh, uh, Transport no, Corporation. I, I would say that I haven't. North, but but you, also have a, you also have different bodies that have been created by the state government, you know, to uh, regulate, I mean, the civil yeah, of, of course, of course. So but but the, the union, union remains one, well, two now, but the RTE. So, so, but the point is, as yeah. much as it might not be very prominent in different states, but you still find pockets of violence and acting not in a very okay. civil manner. Okay. And okay. we constantly say, yes, you have a responsibility, mm. but we can't act like we're animals and yeah. we're in a zoo. Mm. You, there's a civil way to act. So someone wants to stop a vehicle, you want to check particulars, what are you doing with a machete? Why are you using a bottle? Why are you being very violent? The, Why are you treating the, people like what? The bottom line is that area boys, area boys are controlling the collection of, the, it's about collection of tolls, a collection of levies, transport levies, daily transport tickets, sales of transport tickets, um, uh, uh, by these people, but we we'll have to move on. We have to move on. It, it's still trending, by the way, this morning. So, so another conversation that has been generating a lot of conversation, I mean, that has left me almost speechless. Not necessarily speechless because, uh, I mean, you know, it just pops up a lot of question in the mind is the issue of Samuel Poso and the, uh, if you know Samuel Poso, he's a gospel singer, a uh, fantastic one at that. And the fact that he tendered an apology publicly as regards cheating on his wife. I'm sure that you probably would have read or heard that story. So yes, that's what happened, but it, it's gotten a lot of Nigerians talking. And uh, some people say Samuel Poso is actually apologizing now because he was caught. And other persons would say that, you know, it's okay he's apologizing because of who he is i mean you're talking about being a gospel singer he has fans he has to come out and some people say oh you know he doesn't necessarily owe the public any explanation or what have you but at the end of the day you also have some school of thoughts who are saying i mean these persons are humans it would happen and others are making it about a gender issue so if you have the woman uh, committing the same act i mean with the apology tendered would it be acceptable so these are some of the issues and some people have said you you know what? Marriage is overrated. It's overhyped. And you know, let's just move on and forget about it. <laughs> I don't know about marriage being overrated. Um, uh, you know, some people went online at the point. It, to, to today, it's still trending. 
uh, if you want to check the microblogging site Twitter, um, you have 12,900 tweets as of now. You know, so a lot of people are talking about this. But um, and for me, you know, I, I, I don't really rush to comment on things like this because I know that um, we all have our sins. You know, everyone we have, every human being has our sins. You know, and Jesus Christ said, since we're talking about the, the Christian community now, that he that had not sinned, let him cast the first stone. So for, for those who want to comment and to condemn and criticize, um, they would want to remember that, you know, this is a human being. And he owes duty and explanation to his wife. And I think it's between so, them. So, so the, but, com but, 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 the, but, the conversation, but, but, but the people, argument is about, yeah. it's not about whether yeah. he's... I'm giving you my thoughts now. Okay. But, but, but now, what one trend online uh, was the fact that some guys were saying that Sami just just made a mistake. He was, he's a man. And they were saying a man, like, he's not supposed to come and explain to people why he cheated. He's just going to explain to his wife. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. Why are you explaining to us? You, you did the wrong thing. You should have just gone to your wife and begged her and kept your mouth shut. It's all coming to explain to us. But then, some who were opposing that view online yesterday said that, oh, the reason Sami uh, is coming, I've met Sami a number of times. The um, reason why Sami is coming uh, out to the public to apologize is he doesn't want to avoid blackmail. And, yep. and you know, these this American, you know, ladies sometimes, when they want to blackmail you, it's in millions of dollars, you know. So, so he, he, can't, he can't keep servicing the secret. Mm. So that's what some are saying. You know, but I was saying, hey, you should have just kept his word. They don't need his apology and stuff like that. But it's, 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 it's sad. So, so moving on quickly, but you also wouldn't want to agree that um, there was some kind of interview. I mean, so the lady actually called out, yes. made statement in public, and if he was actually called out in public, it was necessary that he made the apology in public. I mean, this is me making the excuse yep. for him and maybe thinking that that's okay. the way he was thinking and that's why he put up that apology. Uh, but what, however, I mean, we're yet to, so, so far, because I, I was but, curious, yeah. he, he's, he's actually just gone a little private on his, uh, you know, social media handle, uh, just to limit all of the comments that will be coming through and all of the Some Some, some people were also saying that, oh, no, today you know but, some were but saying some logically were saying, but logically yeah, if you, some, if you some, want some, to look some at were it saying no oh, you know this is it's one of the things the reasons that coffee um, if you if you want to you look know, at it logically yeah it, it would be that because yeah. from the report of the woman are you trying to stop me from from seeing people no i'm online. not trying to stop you with can I, can I my statement, please? <laughs> um I, I actually i honestly as i've said it's a private matter um uh, for me i i as if if it weren't a, on a trending, it's a private matter until uh, yeah, he made it public. Yeah, yeah, if it weren't a trending story, I wouldn't even be talking about it because um, I need to work on myself first before I start pointing at someone. But it's 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 a job. So I, I will say this: some people were also saying, "Oh, you know, no be today," you know, accusing the the man of of um, uh, you know playing some 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 dribbling some some ladies in the uh, accusation in the house on rock choir and all that, and that's why um, Pastor Paul sent him packing and all that, you know, people going back in history. For me, like I said, and these are the things that people are seeing online. Personally, it's just if the man to sort this business So out. the and reason, you know, for yeah. every time you make, uh, you know, Mercy, you make don't, something don't, public. Don't you have something, something that you're not proud of? The point is this, I for mean, every time you no, make no, no, something I, public. I, no, no, let's not even question. go, because now, you know, I would borrow, I would borrow from the, I would, I would like to borrow if from. If you answered me, I, I would, no, let, let's them, borrow I, from I the know, legal like, practitioner. I mean, they say that okay. we're not talking about the merit of the case now, mm -hmm. the merit of the issue, whether yeah. or not he did it. And Should all we, of that. We're talking we, about, you know, why he had to bring it public. And some people are saying he brought it public because of X, Y, Z. And because he has brought it public, it has become a public conversation, whether you like it or not. And that's the reality. It doesn't yeah, necessarily take Everything out the that, that is made public, you don't need to comment on it. No, the fact that it has become public. Everything that is the, yeah, the no, fact that it has we, become We have public, a duty to report, of course. But that's what we're I'm saying. saying I'm that saying that society today, society today, in the social media has. Do you know what was trending yesterday? Do you know what was trending yesterday? A four letter word. Four letter word, mercy. I saw that. Should I spell it for no, you? No, you don't need to spell it for that, me. That, that, because that I is, have... is, is vulgar and taboo in Nigeria. I can't even say it on air. That's how bad it is. So, so, so people just, you know, you have a phone, you can just. I'm saying, I'm saying, everybody who is commenting has one thing or the other. And I'm that saying that because he made it public, because he made of. it public, 
it, it has become a public we discourse. We are all sinners. That's why Christ came to die. And, and that's why I'm saying that, because he made it public. It has given everyone the leverage no, to talk no. about it. And that's why some persons are saying that, hey, you didn't need to bring it out public. So, Even if he so, was going to be dragged by, you know, the American lady that he indulged in. I mean, we didn't have any of this information. He's the one who said it. And now we now found out that there was an interview that the lady was making, you know, some uh, insinuations yeah, yeah, and making yes. some allegations. In, 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 however. Part, in particular, so, so she, 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 to... she, she said, you know, that um, uh, she was impregnated by Samuel Poso. She's identified by the name African Doll. I mean, that, that sounds really exotic. Um, and she said she would keep the baby. <laughs> Is that an excuse? Yeah, African Doll. No, sounds... no, it sounds like you're, you're trying yeah, to make an excuse. But, but she said she would keep the baby because she does not believe in abortion. That's what she said. She only called out the gospel singer on, on Monday, uh, saying she did not require him to bow to her, but turning his back on her is wrong. All right. All right, so that's what that's what she she's saying. So, yeah. like I like I mentioned earlier, Ron, we're not about the merits of the case. Yeah, we're about the fact that it's been brought public and all of the conversations is generated, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the fact that he, oh, if he, 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 he put it out woman, there, yes, he put so, it out there. So, so people, people, I mean, can comment on something because he's made it public. He's made it public, yeah, okay. and that's why people are commenting. And the issue surrounding it is that okay, so let's say, assume that it was your wife mm -hmm. that committed the same and, and did you know public apology. Would you accept? Who made the, pub so this who is, made the public uh, uh, marriage counselor to the to the couple. No, well, that's when you, you make know, your issues I, I, public. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, personally, I would advise, you know, the principle of life, you know, is um, we jump on people's cases and write all sorts of things. Look at, look at Maduka Okoye and Alex Iwobi. People were just saying, you know, I don't use it. No, but it actually but saying, happens. saying things on, on, online that are really derogatory, that are really depressing, that are really, and they're calling them to threaten them. It happens. Them. It, it happens. You know, so, so, it, happens it happens to the most of the, the people. The, so the, it brings the, us the, back the to day, the conversation. The, the day that mm. the global community, international governments, global governments will wake up, they will shut down if care is not taken. Look at what's trending yesterday. It's become a free-for-all. And when you have an uncontrolled, social media might end up becoming a, a monster that will go out of control. And that was and trending because you had some persons, I mean, mm -hmm. let's even begin to narrow it down. You had some of the, I mean, the comedian that was actually um, arrested by the NDLA, he made mm -hmm. a couple of comments. You also had a particular music star who was making comments in that direction. And what do you expect? Because people were reacting to some of this conversation. So it brings us back to the people who are in the industry, the entertainment industry, those who are the elite, those who we call influencers. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to, because everybody can just go up and say whatever it is they want to say. Now, prior to this time, there were things that were kept private. There were things that you would not want to talk about as much as it was okay to express. But we feel like, you know, we're in the 21st century and let's go ahead. And that's why the trend comes. Because you are reacting. For every time you react to Messi's on the story and you're typing and chatting with Messi, it becomes a trend with every other person that says the Messi. So, if, if you were, some, there was a school of thought online that said, you know, what he did by making it public, by um, um, publicly apologizing may not even be good for the health of his wife for her well-being. If you were in her shoes, would you want him to put it out there in the public or would you want him to apologize privately and, and keep it that way? No, the, the point is this. I think he, he actually you, he, he took, he, he took no, a decision. I, I, that's the question. You're Basically. asking me. You're I don't know because I'm not... No, I, I'm, we're looking at the, the, the emotional and psychological... Because I'm not it. involved, usually. No, no, I'm saying you now. Would you... Because I am not faced I'm, with the I'm situation. Saying, I'm saying Kofi, you. Kofi, okay, so, I, I so understand. People, because I'm not faced saying, with the... I said it would be better for him for, to just... Because the lady may not want this thing to... Kofi, I can say that I want him not to apologize publicly or publicly. That's yeah. because I'm not faced with the situation. Sometimes we're able to say, this is how you behave. You can never... Fine. You can, I, you can, I, you can I, never I predict how you're from. going to behave until you're faced with the situation. I, I, I understand So until I'm from. faced with that, then I, I probably yeah. would understand how we would yeah. feel and how we react towards it. But however, we need to move on. Over to you then. All right, we hear that six people are dead and uh, many injured in an Afghan stampede. And this is something that you don't want to hear, you know, as far as um, football games are concerned. It's always a danger of having a stampede in a football match if, if you have a crowd, wherever you have a crowd. And it all comes down to uh, crowd management. You know, it all comes down to crowd management, crowd control, which is very important for um, any, any organization, any tournament, any body that has... A large number of people so what happened? coming together, and it, it was simply a stampede. You can see the pictures on your screen. Uh, anytime you have a football match like this, you have a crowd, you know, and the whole stadium is full, and people want to 
simply, you know, um, enjoy the game. And so when you have more people than should be in the stadium sometimes, um, or you have a full stadium and there's um, sort of a skirmish, then of course, um, you begin to have stampedes. My, my father, my father bless me, was the first person who told me about um, uh, a stampede in the stadium. He said he came out uh, just in his life. He was lucky to have survived. But this happened in Cameroon. Uh, we had at least uh, eight people died and 38 were injured uh, in that stampede. As fans stormed a stadium hosting the African Cup of Nations uh, in the capital of Cameroon, uh, yes, on Monday, uh, the government said, you know, and there were images on social media um, showing a panic crowd, okay, trying to squeeze through a narrow entrance gate. And this is also another thing that happens. Um, at the newly built Olympia Stadium in Yaoundé, uh, that were hosting a round of 16 games between Cameroon and Comoros. So sometimes it's either people are trying to enter or people are trying to exit the stadium. If maybe there's a rush to leave the stadium, and then there's only a small uh, exit. And the people who are at the back do not know that the exit is really like small, so you know they have to wait for everyone to go. And then everyone starts moving at the same time. The surge from the back of the crowd will push, and the, those behind will fall on those in front and climb on them, because nobody wants to be crushed, you understand? So it, it's really sad that um, eight people you know, are having to die and 38 people are having to get injured in, in the African Cup of Nations, a tournament which um, uh, you know, is, is meant to, to, to showcase Africa, basically, and sell Africa to the world. See, sports does not exist in vacuum. Sports is, is a tool to sell a nation. You know, football tournaments are a tool to sell a nation. So if you see nations vying for football tournaments to have the hosting rights, they want to use that as an opportunity to sell themselves to the world, you know, mm. like South Africa did. You understand? Even Qatar, the next World Cup, they want to sell themselves to the world to say, um, we are open for business, you know, we are a, a peace loving country, the world can come to us. Don't always go to Dubai. We are also here. You know, so it's well, really, really sad. Really yeah, sad. Very sad. Yeah. Well, we have to move away, and we're also hopeful that uh, the continent is evolving as regards uh, sport and sporting activities and crowd control. We hope that Afghan will pay attention to the issue of crowd controlling or crowd control and that there's no repeat of all of this. That's so much we can take on Top Trending. When we return, it will be time for Off the Press, where we have Tunde Kolawili joining the conversation. Good morning.